We've made a lot of progress since last year's hemp stock. You know, they didn't want us to have it again here today, but uh, we're here and we're going to comply with whatever rules they make us comply with. We're not going away. We're going to continue to push the envelope until we can grow hemp without regard to its THC content, but with regard to the most productive seed varieties, the varieties that make the most protein and oil, the varieties that make the most fiber. We shouldn't be judging seed and fiber production by THC content. I think that high THC cannabis makes 20 times more seeds than the, what I call dwarf hemp, the low, less than three-tenths of 1% hemp. And that makes twice as much fiber. So until we can restore hemp, the battle is not over, and we'll keep pushing this envelope. We should be able to have an adult smoking area right here in the park. Just like the alcohol events can have their alcohol area here in the park. Alcohol, as we know, is much more dangerous than marijuana. Marijuana will increase your lifespan for most people. You have less stress, lots of powerful antioxidants, you live longer. How can they say something so beneficial is bad? We have to educate them. They've been misinformed in this huge misinformation campaign we call Reefer Madness after that crazy movie the federal government funded back in 1937. So we're here until we remove the stigma, the false stigma surrounding marijuana. And I want to thank you all for coming. Please go to our vendors, show them some love. You see something you like, pick it up. You know, uh, follow the rules. And uh, we'll be back here for Hempstock again next year. I want to thank all you guys for coming again and help us restore him. Thanks again.